Let me show you the exact process of turning your iPhone into the factory setting. So basically the exact same way that you got your iPhone when you open the box, this is gonna show you exactly how to do that. And it's gonna work for iPhone 14, all the different models and iPhone 15 too. Okay, first go to the settings app. I need to show you a couple of things to do this safely. And right on top here, click your little profile picture. And then from here, go ahead and click iCloud and scroll down a bit. And you wanna click on iCloud backup here and make sure you say backup this phone. Turn this on right here or press backup now right here to make sure this phone actually gets backed up because we're gonna delete it, everything's gonna be gone, but what if there is some kind of an issue? You wanna make sure you have a version of it on iCloud. You could also use that version to back up onto a new phone later on as well. And if you already have a new phone on standby, make sure you don't erase the old phone just yet. Go through the transfer process, then erase it. I'm assuming you already transferred to a new phone or you're gonna use iCloud to do that. But if you have your new phone, I do have a different video to show you how to transfer from an old phone to a new phone. Then you reset your old phone after you make sure everything is set up. So I'll link that below too. But make sure, again, no matter what, you do this iCloud backup as step one. Now for step two, go back to the settings menu over here and make sure you're in the homepage of settings and you wanna again click your profile picture. Okay, then on this page, on the Apple ID page, go all the way down and sign out because you need to sign out of iCloud so someone else, if you're trading this in, if you're gifting it, someone else needs to be able to sign in. So you have to press sign out. This is gonna ask for your Apple ID. So you do need that. If this is someone else's phone, you need to ask them for their Apple ID. Now it says, do you wanna keep any of the data on the phone? No, because I'm gonna erase this phone, but it says data removed from the phone will still be available on iCloud as long as we did that backup. So that's okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press sign out. I'm not gonna check anything on here. Okay, after a few seconds, it should bring you back to the settings page, but this time it says sign into your iPhone. That means you successfully signed out of iCloud, so we are good to go to reset this phone. So signing out of iCloud is step two. Step one was the iCloud backup. Let's go to step three. Now for step three, we're gonna go back to the settings menu, but this time we're going to go down to the general section. And then let's go all the way to the bottom of the page. You'll see this option, it says transfer or reset iPhone. This has been the same for a long time, press that. Now right over here, it's gonna say, do you wanna prepare this for a transfer? But I already covered that in the previous video. If you wanna do that, go through the transfer process. In this case, I already transferred to my new phone here, so I'm just gonna erase. So you look on the bottom, erase all content and settings. Again, make sure please to go through the iCloud process so you don't lose anything. And if you did the transfer, make sure you're happy with everything on your new phone before you erase the old one. Make sure all your passwords transferred, two-factor, everything. Then press erase all content and settings. And right here, it says erase this phone. Erasing will remove all the data so it could be safely traded or given away. That's exactly what we want, press continue. Then you need your passcode for this specific phone. Again, if this is someone else's phone, you need to get their passcode here. And then you'll get this pop-up on the bottom to erase the phone. And then you should see the Apple logo here. This would take a few seconds here to reset your phone to factory default. And it took about a minute here and then it will bring you back to the factory default page. This is where when someone else gets this phone, we'll have to go through the setup process of a brand new iPhone. Now, in the old iPhones, there was something called a SIM card, which was a physical card, and there was a pin you had to press and pull that out and put it to a new phone or keep it for yourself. These now, since iPhone 14 and iPhone 15, they don't have a physical SIM card, they have an eSIM, so you don't have to do anything. That's actually been erased. With a new phone, you'll have to set up an eSIM when you get a new phone that's associated with your phone number. But right now, this is ready to go. This has been reset and you could just put it in the box after you shut it off.